Good evening, my friends, and welcome to this part three, still in chapter three, of the room two. Settle in, have a relax. This is cosy puzzle games, or as cosy as a, you know, a cult-themed puzzle game can be. Last time out, the, uh, the bell pull we worked out needed to have uh, a little thing opened up in the bottom of it before then. We were well stuck. Okay, we've picked up a brass dial, and that is all that gives us. The other thing we know that this opens is here. Great. Ah, it does not open this drawer, though. That looks like that would fit there, but it does not. Okay. Are we going to get another clue? A plate. A plate! Come on! A decorative plate. Very nice. <coughs> that book very much looks like it comes out, doesn't it? <gasps> the whole thing moves. Okay. Well, let's pop the decorative plate in here, and then we've got uh, a little scene that we can try and make. Con! Um, but yeah, how's everyone else's evening going? Oh, it has nothing to say. Really? I guess Khan just ain't that kind of a uh, clue, right? The Surrey Safe Co. Very nice to see a local brand getting a shout out. <clears throat> okay. Seems reasonable. muting my mic whilst I have a little cough there. And there's our null card. Perfect. Which is exactly what we need for this last piece of this puzzle. This might be the end of chapter 3 here. We'll see. Is there a new word that we're going to get written here? Or indeed... Is this now the portal to chapter four? Wow. So this whole puzzle room has all been about smashing open some glass for us. Probably could have done that with our elbow. Yeah. Uh, am I gonna have to put a content warning on that? Oh god, I might actually have to put a content warning on this. Bloody hell. There is a skeleton here. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, I don't want to have to look inside the skull. Now you see the truth of it. Time within this place works differently from without an hour a day a century. Who is to say, a pity I had to wait here to see you on your final step of the journey. Everything is in readiness. Take it. Use it to find the room. So this is our friend. A. Oh. This is our friend, is it? A.S. 
Buddy has given us a key. An ornate key, no less. The ornate key goes in the ornate keyhole. <coughs> Chapter complete. You are to be congratulated. You escaped the curious events of the seance with all your faculties intact. So now where are we? That null matter we touched has uh, transported us somewhere totally different. There's something written on the back of the boat here, but here is a chapter four. Um, the episode so far is six minutes long. If I'd known we were so close to the end of the chapter at the end of the last uh, session, I'd have just pushed through and, uh, and neatly kind of finished the chapter at the end of the episode. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to cut the episode though. We're just going to continue on. Well, for now, hmm. well, let's hope we are uh, not going to get set upon by a Cthulhu monster. That is not. Ah, there we go. Now we're reeling in. <coughs> it's just a little bit like, um... Well, the house in the third game. That's weird. That's a chapter? Even short journeys can cover great distance. And by making it to the other side of the crossing, you're now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. Is this going to be the final chapter? Okay, we're in a room. We've got wires on the floor. Yeah, this, um, so it's a big room with a lot of bits and pieces to it. Okay, keyhole there for that padlock. That looks like something we can use our lens on, potentially. Uh, or not. I see a one, an upside down one. Oh, I see, I also see a two. What is it that I'm looking at there, though? I was looking over in this direction, wasn't I? There's a one, a two, a one. Can I open the drawer labeled one? I can. Okay, we've got a screwdriver. Rattus, rattus. Subject necrosis significantly halted by pre-mortem app of serum number five. Temporary muscular reflex restoration witnessed with post-mortem electrical stimulation of range 75 to 75 to 85 milliamps. Have 
here. Hmm, hmm. Doesn't seem to be able to open all that much just yet. There's a book, can't click it. A couple more drawers, can't click them. <coughs> Screwdriver is going to be helpful for us though. For sure. Ah, oh, we have another one of these devices. What are we looking at here? Ah, the box in the middle of the room. Let's try pointing it at the uh, ominous red thing. And what is this? Now, hang on, wait a minute. Was that red before I pointed? The oh. It doesn't actually remember where you leave it. Fine, okay. So we're missing some components to this. Oh, we've got a whole barrel of null matter there. Another clue here. Subject unresponsive to post-mortem app of serum number four. Combined with electrical simulation of 10 to 100. Corpus degradation considerable with high amperes. Conclude Cleopatra unsuitable for further study. Very well. Let's have a look over here. What's on the table, first of all? Aha, right. That is a code decipherer. Or a telephone. <laughs> Triangle. What does triangle mean? So, there's a code decipherer. That's handy. That appears to be a bit locked. We've got some controls here. Screwdriver's not going to get that though. That needs a spanner. <coughs> do we have here? We need to put something in there and we'll be able to look at it. There's a lot of electronics in this puzzle room, isn't there? <coughs> Take the hinges off this door. I mean, with a screwdriver you can do almost anything. Now let's uh, reconsider this box. This box has three interesting red sides to it. I don't see anywhere obvious that I would use a screwdriver though, in honesty. It is genuinely just a small wooden screwdriver. Doesn't even have any hidden rotating elements to it. Even that piece of metal appears to be bolted down rather than screwed.
Hmm. Ah. Oh, there is something that I can do. It's a wooden box. Ah, excellent. Right. We know these symbols. So what do we got? S's, S with a dash, and a little thing and a T. So we've got uh, S's is one. Uh, so one, seven, three. Okay, we now have a battery. So a battery could be for this. battery in that box over there. I think the battery probably fits in this box here. Yep, turn that switch on. Dumb. Okay, now. Here we go. Love it, love it, love it. Right. Now we're going to point it towards the ominous red thing. A star shaped handle. feeling is it no no was it over here <gasps> draw number two. Oh, hey also a switch on the side. So we'll take the drum of images. Dear Professor de Montfalcon, while I don't doubt your altruistic motives, your sister's condition is not aided by her continued confinement to your estate. I beg of you to see me, Madame Lucy, return to the sanatorium as early as can be managed. Dr. Beckett. And there's a little switch on the side. Ah! And there's something at the bottom here. A giant water bug. That looks like exactly the kind of thing that we're supposed to sort of manipulate in some way or unfold or something, but okay. Uh, yes, back in please. Looking underneath a drawer. Who would do such a thing? Uh, nothing underneath that drawer, though. Yeah. Ah! Do I have to get it 
into the right place. No, it puts it in the right place for me. This is fine. Necrosis and subject halted completely via pre-mort application of serum 5, followed by post-mort application of serum 4. Perfect muscular reflex witnessed with electrical stimulation at 77 and 3 quarter milliamp. And we have found a large handle. A large handle. Okay. So one thing that we have is a disk of images which we can put in there. Right, we need the battery. Need the battery. No. No, we can't take the battery out. We need a second battery? That seems strange. The game's never done double... The game's never done two different options for the same key. Well, I mean, it sort of has, but not in a way where it would sort of lock one of the keys, lock the key away for a period of time. I don't know. But yeah, it seems to me that you can't actually turn that off. Hmm. So maybe there's a second battery that you're supposed to find. Okay, well, in any case, we have a handle now. Does the handle go here? Oh, it's a prison. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Pew pew. Okay. Now what are we firing this at? Ah, the insect, of course. Second battery. And we have a rhinoceros beetle. <clears throat> Dear Lucy, forgive me, I was too late. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Facsimile life restored only with proximity to raw null. Oh dear, Subject L, presumably L for Lucy. I hope this number, is this number going to be important? 77 and 3 quarters, we could probably remember that. 77 and 3 quarters, okay. Rhinoceros beetle. Collecting insects. Not really my thing, not going to lie. Oh. Burnt out fuse. I'll discard it. We need a new fuse from somewhere. Where do we get a fuse from? Where's your toolbox, mate? Where's your toolbox? Hmm. Got stuff over here? Well, that looks like a syringe, not a fuse. Ah, <laughs> burnt out fuse, I'll discard it. Can't believe the, uh, you know, the fate of the Cthulhu verse is right now resting on my ability to find a fuse lying around somewhere.
could we just put like a bit of metal in here instead? Like, realistically, when you're dealing with... Well, for legal reasons, I probably shouldn't say that. But I'm sort of thinking, like, if, if you're dealing with, like, genuine monsters from the void, is running your apparatus without a fuse the most dangerous thing you're doing? We're just on the hunt for switches and things. Over here we have something written that looks like a 23, maybe an upside down 23. It doesn't look like these are anything. Down here we've obviously got that, which we've read. Doesn't really look like anything. That's the lock from this. That's probably what opens up when we um, finish the bugs. Hmm. It's a beefy fuse as well, so we're not exactly going to be able to be picking it out of the light or whatever. There's nothing over with this, um, with that set of drawers at all. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, that cannot now be moved. This can't be operated at all without the fuse. Is there anything the lens can give us? Oh, the lens does tell us that there's something underneath the uh, the second drawer. That's kind of neat. This one's a bit of a head scratcher, isn't it? It's. I mean, it's not. Not a tricky puzzle per se. It's more. Find the hidden object, you know?
Okay, so the laser is going to open that door there. This is fine. I'm not sure what that plate does. We're going to have a key for this eventually. And that's going to get us a... Oh, hang on. Oh, little combination there. But we don't... Regardless, we don't have a key anyway. There's a hand in there. The null has stopped moving around. It's probably fine. Okay, so there's a box inside drawer number one. We've got to look out for other areas that we can click to as well. I mean, usually they're reasonably well signposted. But, for example, when we were in the old temple, um, we didn't find that code in the sand terribly quickly at all. Like, this, this drawer down here looks like we should be able to get to it because it's half open. But, don't see any, don't see any clickable avenues there. Mm-hmm. genuinely a little bit stuck on this one so yeah I mean it's very clear what we have to do we need to find a fuse I mean I'm gonna try not second-guessing that conclusion like we either need a fuse or we need a piece of metal about that long this cabinet doesn't seem to do anything this, you know, the whiteboards or the chalkboards don't seem that interesting. This needs the battery. Battery's in there. Battery needs charging. Need the fuse for the charging. We've used the code from this table, so I don't think that's important. We've used this device. Don't think that's important. The rest of the drawers on here don't seem to open. I mean, there is more stuff to look at here, but none of it seems terribly interactable. We have a drawer here, presumably for when we fill all of the bugs up. Mm-hmm. 
picked up the bug from underneath the drawer, which is uh, what that arrow is for. So we have got another box, we have got a box in here. As far as this apparatus goes, no, it does not seem like I can turn it off or extract the battery or anything like that. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, we are really stuck. We are really stuck. Comment below how long it took you to realize where the thing actually is. Have you found where we should be looking yet? Maybe you've spotted it a quarter of an hour ago. And you've been yelling at the screen that, uh, you know, if only we'd been streaming this, you'd have just told me in the chat by now. I never like to leave an episode on a cliffhanger. Or rather, no. I always like to leave episodes on a cliffhanger. Right? I never like to leave an episode with, we're stuck. Because I always think that's a little bit unsatisfying. Is this a hinge? It does look like a hinge, doesn't it? But then... <coughs> hmm. Doesn't seem to open. I mean, you don't have those on any of the other edges, do you? No. It is just this edge. Here. One thing I really like actually about the room games is the puzzle box design. Really nice, you know, the the mechanicals, the mechanism, the hinges and so on. It gives you a really strong impression that these are puzzle boxes that could theoretically exist in the real world, you know.
Just wondering if we could like take the number one out of here and use that as a fuse. But that's getting very much into sort of Monkey Island style puzzle logic. And this doesn't really use that kind of adventure game logic really with its puzzles. No, I've read that one. Oh, 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 oh. A piece of broken plaque. But it does slot into something. It slots into this. Here we go. And it's an intact fuse. Well, there we go, team. We did it. We did it. Okay. So, intact fuse goes in. We're going to wind her up. And we have a charged battery now. Perfect. Here we go, over here with the battery. Oh, gruesome. Yeah, definitely a content warning probably on this uh on this one. Uh sorry, did that actually do anything for me? What's the... It, am I going to turn around there's going to be an arm on the table or something? So yeah. What, what does that actually do for me? Well, after all the palaver, finding that fuse. I'm not sure what the next step after that's even going to be, because we want to get the red laser. We still need to get this red laser reflector, don't we? And that's not really helped with that. But you know what? We're going to investigate those clues a little bit further next time, before we spend too long actually getting stuck. So we're going to wrap up this uh, this episode today, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm assuming this is the final chapter of the game, so I have no idea how long the next part of this will be. Uh, maybe we'll be doing the final part next time. For now though, subscribe if you're not, otherwise have a great week. Bye bye.